Nope. No, that's not. Okay. Yep. Welcome yep. back to Game Devs Play Games. The downside of pausing in between episodes. Yeah, we're trying a new way of uh, syncing, and unfortunately it means pausing and unpausing. Well, uh, for this game at least. Well, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we lost the platform, so. It's cool. Sorry. Um, oh, man. I always find these to be Dodge a little... The, uh... <sighs> wow. That was surprising. Um, to be a little Woo. overly <laughs> challenging. Woo. Wow. Oh, no. Well, no boomerangs for Chris. It's <laughs> not going to happen. Oh, nice catch on the skull there. This would be a really good time for a boomerang. I guess I didn't need it. I do like that, except for the spike. Actually, that's another design element that I want to talk about. For those random tool... Well, not, I shouldn't say random. For the <gasps> items that you get and can use in the game, do you feel that they all should be absolutely required to get through the level? Or do you think that they should be like the boomerang and that they're merely supplemental? I like that they can be required. Um, it sort of brings us back to episode two, I think, where I was saying... Um, um, one bone short. Yep. Uh, <laughs> you're killing me, Smalls. Uh, we'll get spears then. Whoop. We'll get spears then. Yeah. Um. Oh God, man. I think if it's required, then there should be some at least su partially. Great. There goes my spears. <laughs> partially, like infinitely generating. Um, yeah. At that point, if it's absolutely required the game should accommodate that by giving you a lot more of them yeah now if there are secrets that require it then absolutely don't don't just hand it to the player right give me a reason to hold on to my boomerangs for instance throughout most of the level and then reward me for yeah. for discovering it of course there's no good way of like telling the player hey there's a secret ahead that requires boomerangs like that's true you how can't would you, you can't really like have that be such a blatant like hey I mean, here's this uh, uh, here's this wall that looks suspiciously <laughs> not like anything else in the game unless you do that consistently right say like they give you boomerangs at the beginning of the level if if the that secret later on requires the boomerang then the player can consistently know or as, as long as they consistently do that, say they do the same thing with spears later on. What the hell's going on with that? Then, phone? then at least the player will know. Well, okay. Oh god! Oh god! They did that on purpose. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> they, they totally did that on purpose. I didn't really. <laughs> didn't we do a? Oh yes, we did. We were imitating the um, Koopa. Koopa from Mario. Super did, Mario. Did, 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 did. That was a while ago. It was. I think that was Devil May Cry. Oh, God. Yeah, Don't oh remind God. me that we played that game on the oh, show. Oh, wow. All right. I Yay, mean, Devil May Cry. So, Devil May Cry was fun, right? But, like, I think ultimately our audience didn't care. No. And I don't really blame them because most of the games we play are pretty different from that. Yeah. So, I think that's something going woo, going forward with the show that we need to work on is the consistency of uh, types of games we play. Yeah. You know, you know what I think you should uh, work on? Not dying? Yep. It's How weird. did I know I, that I don't snarkiness know. was Wow. Gonna... How about we start working on that? I don't know. I have yeah. a I have a problem with authority, Cujo. Don't ever tell me what to... <laughs> I don't give a damn about my bad reputation. That's a great song. Yeah, I love that song. <laughs> I feel like we were talking about something actually good. Because um... <laughs> all this is just bullshit. Yeah, pretty much. It is. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Boomerang. Boomerang. Dude, no. Dude, bro, no. Dude, bro, no. Oh, dude, bro, no. Yeah, There's yeah. a Viner who does that a lot. <laughs> I, tried. Uh, I tried so hard. Do you want to be in America? Now we're just going over. Maybe it's because we're coming up on the new year, and you mentioned that we're doing a special project. Well, we... Well, that's... By Are the we, time this... We announce it? Yeah, well, by the time this is released, that's already going to be released. Okay. Um, um, but we did a... a um, we're in the process right now, but it should be done already. <gasps> I can take a shortcut. Oh, oh. That's a little scary, but... It killed me, but now it's going to be a benefit. <laughs> Um, that's, we're going to be doing a little um, end like of the a, year like, reaction video to some of the moments that we've had while it's, Game Devs has been on. That's not the right one. one. <laughs> it's, it's basically you a know montage. you know that was the wrong one? It's, it's going to be a montage yeah. of uh, kind of what the whole year had for us. Um, starting with the very first 
game oh, that we God. ever played on the show, which... What was it? It was me, by myself, playing Outlast. Oh, It was God. awful. It was terrible. <laughs> it's embarrassing, but I'm gonna put it up there, at least so oh, everyone man. can see. What was my first? I honestly don't remember. I... Oh, um... It wasn't three-fourths home, it was before that. Oh, that that one was, is, was one of our better early ones. I love that game. I love it. I still have memories of oh, going through that with you. Oh, that's a spike. That is a spike. Congratulations Woo. on that observation. That is still the spike, by the way. Better than that is a, a better bone than owl. Death. Better than bone owl. Mm, there was a third one. <laughs> there was most certainly a third one. Mm. That's. I think that's like my thing. My the the only characteristic thing that I do is like mid sentence <laughs> stop and go. Mm. Yep. Oop, oop. <laughs> you know, there's a spike there too. Like, I don't know what you do. I think you're just loud. Just like, ah! I know, I know one of my uh, instant reactions when I get mad. Oh. <laughs> you also angrily sing songs, it seems. Oh, wait. That was funny, though. That was pretty funny. Titan Souls. Uh, admittedly, admittedly, American Idiot, that was like a, okay, I have to think of a song because I know I'm going to die here. And I know I'm going to be pissed. But I'd rather just think of the song now than sound like <laughs> an idiot just making random sounds later. Yeah. So I picked that song. Because I think I'd like... That was so... And I, this is totally not game design related. This is not a real game design heavy episode. It's guys. okay. Um, this one's cash. I have moments where I'll hear a song from like one of the albums I listened to the shit out of, and I will then spend the next like month listening once again, just destroying that album because I, I fucking love it so much. Yeah, man. American Idiot for me was one of them. Green Day, love you guys. Rock on. They actually came out with a Christmas song. That's awkward. Yeah, I, it was it. I mean, it basically was just a Green Day song talking about Christmas that had, like, jingles in the background. I was like, uh, this is not, that's, that's weird. That's not, I don't, yeah. I mean, I don't, I'm not, I feel like Green Day was that band I was into when I was a teenager, and now it's, like, I appreciate them for what they are, but I, I can't enjoy it on the same caliber that I used to. That's fair. Meanwhile, Linkin Park is continuing to evolve. <laughs> Linkin Park, <laughs> no, I can't listen to Linkin Park Why? anymore. Because Linkin Park. Was your favorite band? Linkin Park was my favorite band growing up for most of my adolescence, and uh, that's that's why I can't do it anymore, man. It makes me feel like I'm a kid. I don't want to feel like a kid. What do you mean it makes you feel like a kid? It makes some me... of their some of their newer tracks have actually been. It's nothing like their older stuff. It actually they have. I like Linkin Park because they continue to evolve. I, I feel like as I've gotten older, my taste in music has only gotten, like, harder to... Describe. Uh, maybe just, like, less present. That's fair. I just don't listen to music as much as I used to, which in a way is kind of sad. I think, like, that's why I latched onto chip tunes like I did. Oh. Like, that's what I listen to most of the time, and it's... There's not a lot of great chip tunes out there, and the ones that you find, you kind of burn through really quick. See, and so at that point, I'm just like, well, no, I've got nothing to listen to anymore. Oh man, see, that's where, like, because I'm on the road so much, um, whether it's coming out here, whether it's going to Indiana, like, whatever. I'm on the road and in my car so much that if I don't have my playlist, my Spotify going, I lose my mind. That's what audiobooks are for, though. See, maybe I, that's I, the I'm, thing, I, like. I've I've started filling the music listening time to with more of like <laughs> that, just like other with stuff. With sadness I guess. and despair. Yeah, pretty much. That's how it feels. You don't know how it feels. Titan Souls, by the way, I, while that was one of our playthroughs from way long ago, that is just awful quality now. I think that's still one of my favorite playthroughs that we've Same done. Here. Like, absolutely. And we I weren't agree. even very. Oh my God, Chris. My focus is just like Music. going down the shade. Day. Lincoln Park. Hey, man, you're the one leading these conversations. That's true. Well, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm entertaining. No, I'm not. But yeah, I'm Titan really Souls like was just all around a fun game, and even if we didn't have like the best game design talk during it. It was oh, just fun. Yeah. Especially the way that we turned it competitive. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And how I uh, destroyed you guys. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it was awesome. I did. I did. Were you the one that actually won our little competition? Mm -hmm. oh. I got like seven or something. 
seven. Oh, it seven, was seven bosses. Yeah, killed. All and right. I remember getting the final kill on the uh, last boss. The last boss that I swear to God almost made me lose my mind. I think you lucked out on that one. That game is not about luck. Uh, I. I, I it, it involves uh, luck to uh, a rather large extent. <laughs> should return to Titan Souls to prove this. Uh, I don't think no, so. I, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Do not. It's. Um, I don't. It's really up to him. But. Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> no, just because people. If people are like, yeah, we want to see that. All right. Question of the day. <laughs> Uh, question, question of the, of the day. day. Why are we still in the underground? Answer, because Chris has gotten bad uh, this game. It's it's a tough level. <laughs> it's an unforgiving level. Do you feel that having the uh, dark, the, the minimal use of light in this part of the game is unnecessary and makes it more difficult uh, for no reason? Or do you feel that it's well placed? I have a lot to say about that, but yeah, we'll make that our question of the day. I kind of wish we talked about it during the episode, to be honest. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's all right. Green Day in Lincoln Park. Damn you. Damn you. You ruin everything. I mean, anyway. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next episode. See ya.